always serving a fresh cup of daily inspiration, Deanna Hobbs. Today's inspiration is to assure you that Jehovah Jireh will provide. It doesn't matter what you need. He is more than able to supply every single need you have. So today, if you've been feeling discouraged by something you lack in any area, this word is sent straight from above to be a blessing to your life and let you know you're not alone. God's got you. Welcome to your Thursday, February 1st, 2018 edition of your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast. My name is Deanna Hobbs. I'm founder of Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, a 501c3 nonprofit organization that distributes free resources all around the world to help you grow in your faith and become everything God has destined you to be. I bring you warmest greetings live from Empowering Everyday Women Ministry Studios in the city of Buffalo, New York. My team and I were talking this morning before we began this broadcast about what an awesome privilege a devotion divine assignment it is to be able to reach you in this way. We love you. I have been communicating with you from Kenya and Australia and Norway and London and Bermuda, and it goes on and on and on. I'll see you in Bermuda very soon. At the end of February, I'll be ministering at a women's weekend in Bermuda. I'm so ready to come and allow God to have his way. Every single podcast you hear, it is available for you as a free resource. Feel free to download it, stream it on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher.com, DeannaHobbs.com. Also, if you head over to YouTube under my Deanna Hobbs channel, D-I-A-N-N-A-H-O-B-B-S, click that red subscribe button and turn on your notifications every single time there's something uploaded, a podcast, a vlog, anything, you'll be among the first to know. I don't want to prolong the preliminaries because there's something God wants to say and we want to hear it. Amen. So let's begin with a prayer. God, it is just incredible that you have ordained this moment and that you sent this precious individual to this podcast so that you could speak to them. God, I step back. I don't know what to say, but you know. So word my mouth, bless this person so that they will come away from this podcast knowing they have heard from you and will be careful to give your name the praise, honor, and glory for it all belongs to you anyway. In Jesus' name, amen. Recently, I was listening to one of my absolute favorite songs by William McDowell. It just says, I give myself away. You know that song? Oh, I love it so much. I give myself away so you can use me. I remember the first time I heard that song, I had gone to a musical to support a friend of mine and a praise and worship leader was up singing it and it just ministered to me so deeply and God really blessed me. It's been one of my favorite songs ever since. The first time I heard it, it had actually been out for a while and the individuals who knew me said, what rock have you been living under, Deanna? How do you not know that song? But uh, it is one of my favorites and that's what I do. I give myself away so the Lord can use me. But when I was younger and less experienced, I didn't want to give myself away. I was afraid. And so whenever the Lord would call me to do something unfamiliar that veered outside of my comfort zone, I would just be terrified. I had many questions, worries, and deep concerns about whether or not I would be able to perform the duties he had newly assigned to me. And even beyond giving myself away, when trials and tribulations and challenges and hard situations presented themselves, I would doubt that I could make it through. Panic overtook me. And instead of crying out, to the Lord in faith, I would cry tears of fear and stress. I'd feel hopeless and it was an emotionally draining cycle. And then when it came to taking a particular course of action pertaining to my divine assignment, worst case scenarios would just take over my thinking. I could barely concentrate on the task at hand for fear of failing even before I got started. My limiting thoughts paralyzed me and then the enemy would prey on my anxiety and add a bunch of lies into the mix. He was working hard to defeat me and when I tried to snap myself out of it by remembering the positive affirmations of other believers, quoting affirming scriptures and praying about what was troubling me, somehow I would slip right back into my gloom and doom thinking. I wondered, why is this happening? Where is my joy? Deanna, where's your peace? Where's your confidence? You know what the problem was? I didn't trust him. 
That was then, though, and this is now. These days, when the enemy comes after me, trying to drum up worry and anxiety within me, I tell him, get thee behind me, Satan. I know how to cast my cares upon the Lord, rebuke the devil, and tap into my faith reserve. My mind recalls the old saying, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. In fact, we used to sing that in church. I have experienced the miracle working power of God firsthand. I have been on the receiving end of blessings, great and small, that I could never have obtained were it not for the hand of the Lord working in my favor. I have watched the Lord remove obstacles and open doors and make ways where there was seemingly no way to be made. I know it's not just me. He has secured victory for you in light of what he has done in your life. When doubt stresses you out and makes you feel helpless and hopeless, you've got to do some soul searching, perform a heart check, survey yourself, ask yourself, where is my faith? Where is my confidence? Where is my memory of the awesome things God has done before? Where is my trust? Hasn't God proven himself worthy? You've got to learn how to expel doubt and fear from your life because it comes knocking on everybody's door. It doesn't matter what your address is, what side of town you live on, how big or small your house is. Trouble comes knocking on everybody's door. You've got to tell yourself the same God who blessed me before is about to do it again and he will provide for every need. Come on, and slip up that hand, slip up one of those hands and wave it and say, God, I thank you for being a provider. You know, beyond my catalog of experiences and yours, there are countless biblical examples that help reinforce our faith. Sometimes you got to read through Hebrews 11. That's what's called the Faith Hall of Fame. That chapter contains the richest examples of how people believe God and saw the hand of God move. And one of my favorite encouraging biblical accounts is right in that chapter. And it focuses on Abraham the father of faith. In Genesis chapter 22, after God commanded Abraham to offer up his only son Isaac as a sacrifice, the Bible says Abraham stretched out his hand to kill his son. And as agonizing as this must have been, Abraham still acted in faith. And at the moment he moved in obedience to God, the angel of the Lord called out to Abraham from heaven. And the Bible says there was a ram caught in the thicket that would be used for the sacrifice instead of his beloved son Isaac. Abraham was able to spare his son the promised seed that he and Sarah conceived in their old age according to scripture. Isn't God faithful? See, God never intended for Abraham to offer up Isaac. He always had a plan, even before Abraham could see it. But the Lord was just teaching this patriarch of faith to trust him. And just as God provided a ram in Isaac's place, he sent Jesus Jesus, the perfect lamb of God to take our place. God gave up his own son as a ransom for sin and made us clean through Christ's shed blood. Then Abraham, the Bible says, called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord will provide. Oh, I'm getting happy in the studio this morning. Not only did God provide, but in verses 17 through 18, he pronounced a blessing over Abraham's life. And the Lord told him, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Here's some good news for you, Daily Cup family. Since you have been justified, which is to be made right with God by faith, the blessing of Abraham also belongs to you, according to Romans chapter 4, verses 13 through 25. The same God who provided for Abraham and blessed him is alive and at work in your life right now because you have been redeemed from the curse of the law through your belief in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. God, who is still Jehovah Jireh, provides for you and me. He still makes ways. He still heals. I'm a witness. He still restores. He still sets free. Just trust him. You will see God work despite what's troubling you and how you're being tested. If you keep your confidence securely in the Lord, you will move forward knowing that Jehovah Jireh has got you covered. Refuse to feed that doubt. 
world. Instead, feed and fuel your faith with the word of God. When you do that, you set yourself up to receive all Jehovah Jireh has for you, to encourage you to trust him when you can't trace him. I'm stirring Hebrews 10 and 23 in the New International Version into your cup of inspiration, which says this, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful. As you drink down the contents of your cup, keep your focus on the faithfulness of God and not on the difficulty of your situation. He never fails. Trust him with all your heart. Push past fear and tap into faith. God has good things lined up for you. Things are breaking in your favor. He's already made the way. It's going to manifest in your life. Continue to trust him. Don't doubt. Believe him. Jehovah Jireh will provide. Now let's pray. God, I pray for this my sister, this my brother. Thank you, Lord, for reminding them that there is no problem. There is no need that they have for which you do not have an answer, for which you do not have supply. Show yourself strong. They're petitioning you, God, and the enemy is trying to introduce doubt, but he's defeated. Thank you for the blessings that are flowing to them right now and for how you are providing for their every need. There is nothing too hard for you. We give you glory and we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Cup of Inspiration podcast has been brought to you by Empowering Everyday Women Ministries, where we help fuel your faith every day. For more information, log on to www.deannahobbs.com.